Folks, I hope you're well. Crimes against humanity and New World Order are trending right now. And in the last half hour, I've posted several videos with these two trending topics appealing once again for the solution to crimes against humanity, war, anti-women, anti-gay, racism, it's all there in that scripture. It always has been. The answer is there. I've been doing this for five years with the videos on Twitter. And I started with the books back in 2000. My 2008 book, Selfless Spirit, Selfish Ego, which was about Oprah and Eckhart Tolle's 10 part series on the World Wide Web and what they are saying. And in the end, I am showing them this information that's in my videos, but in the end, there is no magic or mystery to being good in this world. That is what faith is. And it is a workless work, but we are not fulfilled under God without works. So what works are they that we must do that are no work? And we are to do it every day. It's no work being good, no matter what you do. So Oprah and her supporting Fetterman, and I keep sending to Fetterman as well at his Twitter site. This is how we end all of this. It's right there in that scripture. Most people are living this way. They just don't know it. The terms, law number one of God, the first commandment, the terms king of the Jews, what Jews means, what Gentiles means, what that circumcision of the heart means, these have never been taught to humankind. Yet most of us are living that first law of God and the circumcision of the heart. Well, it's all there in scripture. That's a very powerful book. I am not religious. I had a reason to study it. So I come with an independent mind in this matter because I was not raised in a church. I did not have televangelists pumping the literal word of God, the literal word of God. They're denying the revelation of the dead letter. We are not to literalize words. We are to see the substance of them and in scripture with these stories, how they apply to human character. In this world, it is either freedom or fascism. Do not fear that word. There are going to be people who shall appear as if they are for peace and safety, but they're there to do the opposite. They are double-minded. They are split temples. They have no problem causing issues and then coming to be the saviors, but they're fake messiahs. They're fake saviors. They're the ones who are creating the problems in the first place. We know how to fix issues without doing any harm in this world. They don't want to do this. It's a way of enslaving people. You enslave them under lies. So it's a game of fascism because it's my way. That's the way fascism is. It's a slaver structure. Even though scripture does not use the term fascism, it is talking about empire. An empire is fascism. They are called houses of bondage. Individuals can do this themselves, but it becomes more powerful as more people join and it becomes a corporate structure. They are there to teach anything and everything but the circumcision of the heart and the first law of God. And this goes on way before Christianity rises. They are houses of bondage. The only way you're released from them is by demanding that these people explain what that first law of God means, the circumcision of the heart, the term Jews and the term Gentiles. So I ask you, Elon Musk, I ask you, Pope Francis, I ask all humans, are you following the way of the king of the Jews or are you being little kings of the Gentiles? Because the term Jews and the term Gentiles has nothing to do with being literally Jewish as I am of Jewish ancestry, though I'm non-religious. It has nothing to do with your sect. It has nothing to do with the fact that you as a male have had your penis literally circumcised. It's a circumcision of your heart. In scripture, every human that honors the first law of God and or the circumcision of the heart because they mean substantively the same thing. Every person that honors either one of these is walking the way of God, is 
walking the way of the character of the Jews. You want to be as the king of the Jews. You are not God. You are not the king of the Jews, Jesus the Christ, but you walk that character and you have the circumcision of the heart, which is in Genesis and in the New Testament as well. They just don't teach it as well as the first law of God. They don't teach what it means. The circumcision of the heart is that when you have rising desires to do harm, to do things to others you wouldn't want done to yourself, you repent that desire, you scrape it away, you abort that desire, and you find the solution that does no harm. That's why we have these brilliant minds. We are doing it every day, most of us, to keep our safety and peace. It is the law of self-preservation, the first law of God, which effectively is the same thing as the circumcision of the heart. It is clarified by Jesus that we shall love this God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind. But they're not teaching you that God is this unseen, all good, Holy Spirit, this unseen mind and spirit that we are to crown our lives and minds with and our passion with and actually live it. Well, if we're to love this God with all of our heart, soul and mind, then we are to love this all good spirit and mind with all of our heart, soul and mind, meaning we live it. And like unto that first commandment is the second, that we shall love our neighbors as ourselves or treat others the way we want to be treated, which simply means we don't do things to others we do not want done to ourselves, our children, our pets, our property, our neighbors, anybody. Most people live this way. That is the first law of God, the all of the law of God, the all of the law and the prophets. Jesus exemplified this law. This is why he was put on a cross. Those first two greatest commandments Jesus presents that clarifies the law of Moses thou shalt have no other gods besides me. Those first two greatest commandments, all the law hangs upon those first two greatest commandments, which is that law of Moses. But this empire system hung that law on a cross when they hung Jesus on that cross. Whether or not you say you believe in him, they do not teach Matthew twelve thirty two that those who speak against the Son of Man, what's the worst thing you can say, but I don't believe in Jesus. Those who speak against the Son of Man shall be forgiven, but those that speak against the Holy Ghost shall not, which is not about saying, I don't believe in the Holy Ghost. You are not living it. That is your belief. That is your confession. It does not come by your words, your literal words, your literal rituals. You're joining a literal club. It comes by your living it. That is the circumcision of the heart. So I keep appealing to these great people, whether they're agnostic or atheist or Christian. This first law of God and the circumcision of the heart is secular. It is 100% about human character. Regardless of the worldly, the mammon, the literal rituals, the literal clubs, the secret societies, etc., all the laws that man creates. This is the stone the builders rejected is the first law of God that needs to be reset. There was a great reset in the early 1800s. This one that they're doing is another further seal of the apex elite, their money, power, and control over this world. Why is there all this monopolizing? In the 70s, this was a big deal in the news, the monopolizing of corporations. Look at it now. It is an age-old body of interconnected wealth. They have the money and power to do this. How many of these people, this entire system for the last, oh my gosh, we're talking millennia now, clothing themselves in I love God or I love Jesus, the wolves in sheep's clothing. It's right there in scripture. They produce no good fruits. Is this how you're living your life? Appearing outwardly to be one thing, but otherwise not? You are pouring out this good in this world, this love inheritance, but you're doing it just for your own. What good is your love if you do it just for your own? Most of us are pouring it out upon the entire world. We are not being racists. We are knowing other people by their good character, their circumcision of the heart. God is no respecter of persons. You know other people by their good character. This is all that God cares about, that we are here building the safety and peace, whether or not you say you believe in Jesus. 
whether or not you say you believe in God, this God doesn't care. It's 100% about your character in this world that you are building the safety and peace and the parity. This is how the freedom flourishes. Jesus hates the doctrine and the deeds of the Nicolaitans or those in power and control over the laity or any group because their doctrine is not built upon the first law of God and the circumcision of the heart. So their deeds are for self-gain. They don't mind doing harm to others for their own self-gain. Those are the Gentiles. They do not honor the circumcision of the heart. Per scripture, you can call it what you want. They are the people of the uncircumcision. They are the people of winter. They are the false Jew, per Revelation 2.9, not the true Jew. We are all born blameless and in love. We are to remain that way, per Ephesians chapter 1. This is the desire of God. Well, how do we remain that way? We are being told of the circumcision of the heart. We simply cut away desires to do harm. We use this brilliant mind, this savior mind, to find the safety without doing harm. Most people are living this way. Who should have the power to be so entitled to be able to rise themselves above the first law of God and not give a damn? To have all the money or the wealth or even be poor on the ground and still have this entitlement within their own mind that they are better than others, that you have a right to go hurt other people because they're not doing life your way. That is what fascism is. It grows into a corporate body. It doesn't matter if you're calling it communism, Zionism, democratism, republicanism, papism, imperialism. There are people of these groups who are Zionists or imperialists that live their lives doing the good. But that's not what we're talking about here. These are systems. They're corporate systems. They're businesses. The business itself does not have a soul. It does not have one human mind. It is a corporate structure of people who are going to do business this way, dishonoring the first law of God and the circumcision of the heart. Everybody on this planet that honors this circumcision is called a Jew in scripture. They are the true human. We are born this way. We are slaughtered as children. The slaughter of the innocents is that they slaughter our minds in this false dogma. Us versus them. Women are lesser than men. You're not part of our club. You're not doing our rituals. You don't do our rituals and follow our rules. We can cut you off from that kingdom. So they supplant God. These are houses of bondage according to scripture. You must just see it for what it is. We all struggle with fascism in our lives, in our own personal lives. That seed of fascism where we are going to make of ourselves like our own little empire. We are going to judge these over here lesser and these over here greater. Well, that's the mark of the beast. You're marking yourself greater. You're marking others lesser. The Christ is this one good way, that one rabbi that's right here within you. Your God conscience, your good conscience. You know how to build the safety and peace. You know that which is good. You know that which does not build the good. Well, you sure as hell don't want to have the not good being built upon your life. So why are you doing it upon others? So you mark yourself greater. Well, you can remove that mark. So remember this, folks. All of us, including Elon Musk, we can all be as the king of the Jews. That we are ruling our lives with the character of the Jews. That we honor the circumcision of the heart. Otherwise, we are making ourselves as kings of the Gentiles. That we have no problem dividing, conquering, us versus them. We're going to keep this misogyny going. We're going to keep the racism going. We're going to keep the homophobia going. We're going to keep all this going. Well, who is gaining in the end? The money goes to the top in these systems. You do not want to hate people who are Zionists or people who are communists, socialists, Democrats, Republicans, Christian nationalists. You just want to Throw that stone of the spirit to the mind that rejects it, that Goliath mind that has become this great corporate structure that the people below are just adoring, that singular human beings can do in their own little spheres of life. Cast that stone of the spirit. This is the first law of God. This is how most of us live our lives. We know how to reconcile issues here without doing harm. The goodness they're pouring out is not genuinely good. 
to stop that racism and that misogyny in those wars and the us versus them and remove that mark. How is it that people want this? I don't understand. Except for the fact that that Bible has been literalized and you're being taught that a mark, that mark of the beast is some literal mark when it's, it's something that's been going on this whole time. The only reason why a literal mark of the beast shall exist or a microchip as they keep talking about is because this entire system marks itself greater. The people up there do greater than you. They're going to have surveillance on you. You're not going to have that same surveillance and control upon them. So you've been marked lesser, but this has been going on this whole time. That mark of the beast. If you do not accept that mark, you cannot buy or sell in their system, which means they want you gone. Because if you can't buy or sell anywhere in this world, you're out. Well, how are they going to do that? And why does a depopulation agenda exist when all my life I keep hearing about no more Holocaust and stop the genocides? How awful all this is. Well, it is awful. And it's preceded by the Inquisitions and the Crusades and Charlemagne and goes back to the Council of Nicaea where you have this brand new Christendom teaching that priests cannot talk to Jews and that the Catholics cannot marry Jews and that if you convert to Jewish you shall be killed. This starts off in the fourth century. It's 100% not scripture. It's not the way of Jesus. It never has been from the beginning. They never taught what the circumcision of the heart means. The true definition of the term Jews. It's not a history of hating Jewish people first. It's a history of not teaching what the term Jews means. Jesus was the king of the Jews, not the Gentiles. As you sow, so shall you reap. The Jews are the chosen ones. The reason why they are chosen is because they have chosen. They have chosen this covenant, this circumcision that is of the heart, regardless of all your other circumcisions. If you want to have a circumcision of the penis, if you want to have another ritual or these covenants or whatever makes you holy, this is all good and true under God if they fall underneath the circumcision of the heart that you're doing no harm. You are not misleading people. They understand what the circumcision of the heart is and that in the end it doesn't matter in this world. Another person's rituals, another person's religion, another person's race, another person's anything. All that matters is their love for the circumcision of the heart. You know them by their good character. Most of the people in this world are fine people who do reconcile issues without doing harm. They may have their own issues, but why? The slaughter of the innocents. They slaughter our minds. It's not about killing little Jewish babies in scripture. We are all born that true human. We are all born in unknowing. We are of that character of the quote unquote Jew, not Gentile. We are born without blame and in love. We are to maintain this by honoring the circumcision. That is what defines you the Jew, it keeps you defined as the Jew. Otherwise, you're going to start going the way of the Gentile. You can change. You don't want to hurt these people to bring them down. So we are born into Israel. The term Israel means struggle or conflict. We are born into this world of struggle or conflict. It does not have to be amplified. If we are taught as children that this is what Israel means and we are all born that quote unquote Jew, and we are instructed not to go the way of the Gentile. And how we don't go the way of the Gentile is by honoring the circumcision of the heart, which makes you the Jew, that you are following the king of the Jews. And then it doesn't matter whether or not you're saying you believe in God or Jesus. It's that you are honoring this Holy Ghost by exemplifying it and pouring it out in the world. If you understand these things, then you understand that the entirety of scripture is about human character. That's all that it is. Personal responsibility. You're either going to be that good creator, that good carpenter, 
be that king of the Jews over your life and your world, following the king of the Jews, this good Christ way, or you're not. And you're going to go the way of the king of the Gentiles and make yourself a little king over your Gentile world. It's going to be your way. Well, that's fascism. It can do so much damage and rise into wars and the most terrible things done to human beings all this time because of people of different circumcisions. Once again, call it what you want. The good versus the evil. The character of the Jews versus the character of the Gentiles. The Jews versus the false Jews or the Gentiles. It's in Revelation 2, 9 to beware of the false Jews. People who are going to clothe themselves with, I'm against fascism, I'm, I'm for peace. I'm against racism. We've got to stop misogyny, but they do nothing. 22 years of appeals to all of these God lovers up there, at least the ones that I've sent to, and none have responded. I've seen no change. This is pathetic. May Brussel calls it the Nazification of the world. Listen to this wonderful lady of Jewish ancestry. She was of the I. Magnan family. It's not conspiracy theory where I am concerned. It's simply lies by omission and people who are finding out truth that they are not trumpeting. And if you raise up that truth, they're going to say you're a conspiracist. It's lies or truth. It's the truth that makes you free. They are cutting away information throughout history and with regards to that Bible. It's lies by omission. They're going to tell truth, but not the whole of it. They're going to create a foundation of truth. It's going to be their truth because they're going to build a fence around that truth. But the truth and wisdom in scripture is ever expansive so that we humans can have knowledge and wisdom beyond what we know today at this moment. They want a fence around that truth. It's going to be their truth. Lies by omission. So it is the truth that makes you free. Are you going to be the king of the Jews and stand up for the term Jews? That these are the people who are not responsible for all the troubles of the world, as I keep hearing. I started hearing it after we returned from Japan in 1969. Our finest friends, two families were Jewish families. We had fine Catholic friends and Protestant friends, Japanese friends. We understood that life is about character in this world. It didn't matter. None of us hated each other because one wasn't religious, our family non-religious, the other Catholic, the other Protestant, two Jewish families, Japanese friends. Nobody, none of us were living this way. So we know how to fix issues down here. Why can't they up there? You're governing your life this way. You must demand from them to speak the first law of God and the circumcision of the heart. What the king of the Jews mean, what the term Jews means, what the term Gentiles means. What the Great Reset means, the restoration of the stone the builders rejected, law number one, most humans live. It's not their Great Reset, it is the Great Reset of the stone the builders rejected. So I just wanted to make this quick video. I will finish that third installment of the 25 Goals of the New World Order per Ted Gunderson. I will also add the JFK warning in 1961 about global fascism. There have been people out there waking us up to this this whole time, at least in my life. Well, there is a solution in that scripture that does not build hate or any further violence. And it really is up to us. And all we need is for one powerful voice or for somehow these revelations get taught to the world. Because this is the seed. This is the problem source is a different circumcision. They're honoring a different God, a different Bible, a different Jesus until they teach the circumcision of the heart and the true definition of what the Jew and the Gentile is. The first law of God is the all of the law of God. If you do not break the first, you will not break the rest. It is the stone the builders rejected. Most of us are living the first law of God and the circumcision of the heart. We have just never been taught it. It must be trumpeted upon the world. Cast that stone of the spirit to the Goliath mind that rejects it. It will fall. It shall be abased. We want the head cut off. It's not literal. 
you don't want to hurt these people. If it changes, we demand they change. Then that old head has been cut off. If they don't change, we remove them. It is an ultimatum. When the world knows that most humans have been living the circumcision of the heart and the first law of God and are scripturally the Jews, no matter how you define yourself, call yourself the people of the circumcision. It doesn't matter. Don't get emotionally connected to words. See the substance of them. But when people realize that this is the battle in the world, the good versus the evil, the Jews versus the Gentiles, they will understand that most humans have been walking the character of the Jews. And the problems have always been by people who honor the character of the Gentiles. It's the Gentiles that build the anti-women, the anti-gay, the anti-black, all of these antis, the anti-socialist, etc. Anti-this, anti-that, when in scripture there's just one anti, and that's anti the first law of God, which is the same thing as being anti the circumcision of the heart. So you demand that they answer what the circumcision of the heart is. What the term law number one, the first commandment means, what the term Jews means and the term Gentiles means, and all this will come down. That is an ultimatum that they are either going to walk this way or we know they are wolves in sheep's clothing, producers of no good fruits. How hard is it to see that these people are producers of no good fruits? All of this is unnecessary. Do you live your life as a racist? Are you on that tree of fascism, anti-women, anti-gay? all this but you're not going to know other people by their character you don't know that any one of those people out there might save your life one day that most people are kind and loving people who are problem solvers aren't you living this way why bother living this way then if you're not demanding it from them they demand it of you you better keep your nose clean down here or you'll get in trouble look at what they're doing up there it's just hope and change keeping you on the string of hope and change all the time, giving you a little band-aid here and a little band-aid there to shut you up, but you're slaves, according to that scripture, under these systems that are houses of bondage until we are freed by the truth that makes us free. And that is the first law of God, reset it upon this world, that this world shall know what the character of the Jews and the Gentiles is. The Jews are not responsible for all the troubles of the world. It's all bass backwards. Per scripture, those in this world that honor that circumcision of the heart are walking the character of the Jews, no matter how you define yourself. Those who do not do this are walking the character of the Gentiles and they can change. Okay, Elon Musk, I will send this to your Twitter account. I'm thankful I still have life on Twitter. I appreciate that because it's been scary. It really has. I'm not a savior. I'm not seeking to have my name lifted. I'm not asking for money. Elon Musk, you're not a politician, but you're playing politics. And there's no politics with this first law of God or the circumcision of the heart, even in your own life. You either live this way or you don't. We are wanting others to live this way around us because when they don't, this causes issues. So there are people in this world that are builders of problems that they could have solved. And there are people who do solve those problems before they build them into the world and we've all stepped off the way and there is nothing to fear but fear itself is not the capstone truth there's nothing to fear but humans stepping off this one good way with no intent to get back on and humans as a body of people being governed by others who are stepping off this way but the people are keeping their mouths shut you need to demand that they govern over you the way they demand you govern over your life. Raise up the all of the law. Teach the circumcision of the heart. These have never been taught upon the world. Most people are living it. Demand they live it. If they do not change, then replace them with someone who does. You could. You could do a better job. Most of us could. We know how to fix issues down here in the business of our own lives without dropping bombs on our neighbors, committing these heinous crimes, performing cover-ups with control over the media. So it's a hypocrite system. This can all come down. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Take good care.